All right. Well, uh, hey guys. Uh, we're standing here in the reception area of First Ascent Avondale, uh, which is the, the largest and first uh, First Ascent location in Chicago. So yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, let's go look at the walls. I can sell some basic snacks over here, gear shop, guidebooks, stuff like that to the local areas. Uh, t-shirts that I think are like pretty nice actually as far as like gym t-shirts go. Uh, and then, yeah. Uh, once you pass all that stuff, you arrive at uh, like really the main draw of the gym, which is this whole rope climbing area. Um, this is the only first ascent location with ropes. The other ones are bouldering only. Let's do a little a little walk around and look at the various angles on offer. As a beginner, you uh, you know acquaint yourself to climbing, learn how to belay whatever you're doing over here. Uh, you can do some easy routes, and then everything else in the gym really varies in difficulty almost across the full spectrum. Uh, from like, yeah, five six, five seven, up through twelves and thirteens. Uh, we have our uh, speed wall setup, pretty complete speed setup for training the team and anyone else who's interested in trying speed climbing. If you're a, a crack climbing enthusiast, there is something here for you. And uh, yeah, that one is supposed to be pretty hard. You can see it behind the the auto belay uh, ribbon. And then finally, as we round this corner, uh, we arrive at my favorite part of the rope climbing at Avondale. This is what we refer to as the comp wall. It's, you know, best suited for competition preparation. Most competitions in the USA at least take place on tall, steep walls like this one. Yeah, this wall is, uh, is a real blast to climb on. So that pretty much rounds out the rope climbing offerings here at here at Avondale. Uh, the bouldering section is upstairs, so we'll head up there now. Uh, so we've arrived at the bouldering area, uh, just a short flight of stairs up from the ropes. We have first thing straight ahead, uh, the feature nicknamed the Anvil. So the setters have a lot of flexibility with what kind of problems they can put up. Uh, quite steep on this side. You'll you'll see a video at some point some climbing on this feature. You know, really fun one. Pretty straightforward, it's just steep, full hard. And most of the walls in this uh, in this, this bouldering area at this gym is that you can top them out. And of course you can always choose to just jump down as well, but uh, yeah, I think that's that's a cool feature of the gym as well. Then you can side, maybe the most prominent feature of this bouldering area. You can fit some much longer problems in. Hard stuff with moves that aren't that hard, but uh, you know the difficulty adds on just by having to do a lot of them. That's a, a top out section as well, so you can really get the full package. And arguably, yeah, I mean the, the roof really stands out, but this is a really proud wall over here. Uh, I think a lot of people call it the beak. I'm gonna call it that. It, uh, yeah, it's the, the tallest wall we have here. It's really fun and interesting to pull on that, on on that angle, uh, not completely flat. It has the, the curvature to it, so uh, you can you can find a lot of a lot of cool problems there as well. Oftentimes, thanks to our setters. Yeah, I think that about covers the bouldering area. So let's proceed to the training zone. This six-sided structure over here hosts training rungs on all sides. I, I think they would all fall into that category. Each side of it offers its own form of training. Moving past that. We have a pegboard, kind of a novelty item, but can be fun to play around on. Yeah, a, a, a pretty good setup as well if you're if you're training finger strength. So this behind me is the scatterboard, adjustable like the system wall over there. Uh, cool thing about the scatterboard is it's a, a place to make up your own problems of uh, you know difficulty of your choosing. It's also cool because you can adjust the angle of it. by this little thing over here. Uh, uh, yeah, up, down, you know, you choose, you choose whatever angle you like. It was at the max just now because uh, Greg was climbing on it. You can make this however steep or, or vertical you would like, which, which, which I think is, is pretty cool and pretty valuable training device. The, the general fitness area, uh, lat pull down, kettlebells, uh, foam rollers, all that, free weights. And then this little contraption here, you can hang whatever you want from the bars. 
I want to say they're called cannonballs, Nikos cannonballs, but I, they might be a little too small. Uh, uh, missiles, you know, TRX. You you have a pretty good like selection of things in those little crates over there, and that is really it. If you go around here and pass the cardio equipment, which you can also use if you like. Squat max. Uh, you come around to the beginning of the boulders and. You know, from there down the stairs to the rope climbing, and that's pretty much the whole gym. I really love this place, so it's it's, uh, it's been a pleasure to, to show you guys around. And uh, yeah, see see you next time when we do a little climbing on these walls that I that I just showed you.